Hey everybody, it's Shane. Thanks for coming back. Today's lesson is going to be on the song Fix It by Ryan Adams and the Cardinals off the album Cardinology. I'm going to be transcribing all this from a video you can find on YouTube. I'll include the link uh, when he plays this on David Letterman. I'm going to show you how to play the entire song, uh, including the lead. I'll show you the lead at a couple different tempos and hopefully get a tab up for it soon as well. And I'll even tell you a little bit about what you should be looking for to duplicate this song. So, without further ado, let's get right to it, okay? Okay, this is basically going to be guitar one. This is the, uh, we're going to call this the main riff. This is going to come in several times in the song. And all it's going to be is a D note at the 5th fret to an A note to, at the 5th fret on the A and E strings, respectively. Uh, and it's basically just going to kind of sound like this with a little hammer on from 3 to 5 on both strings, okay? If you remember from the funk lesson, chickas, chickas are going to be a big deal in this, okay? So you play that riff twice, guitar one, then you're going to go straight into the verse, which is a D minor chord to an A minor chord, both at the fifth position. Do that twice. Then a G. I know it's not a game to an A minor and a G again. Hold it twice when the one you love throws you away. And you're going to go to the chorus. I'd fix it, I'd fix it. And the chorus is F, C, A minor, F. Okay? And you're going to let the high E ring on all of those chords. And you're kind of going to arpeggiate it a little bit. Okay? Make sure you're hitting that high E. It gives it a nice sound. Here we go. Someone you love throws you away. You play that twice for the chorus, then the song basically kind of starts over. And guitar one's going to go back to that D A riff. Okay, you play that twice. Then again, do the D minor to A minor twice. Then do the G, A minor, G and G. Do that again, just the same way. Then you're gonna play the chorus completely through. F, C, A minor, F. You're actually gonna play that progression four times, okay? You're gonna play it twice for the chorus and then play the exact same thing twice again for uh, what we're gonna call the bridge, okay? And after the bridge comes the solo, which I'll show you in just a second. Guitar one during the solo plays that D to A riff, but instead of playing it four, or instead of playing it two times, we're going to play it four times for the backing for the solo. Okay. Okay. Now you're basically just going to need to follow the song to understand how it's laid out, but that's how you play all the things, okay? Guitar 2 is going to have a little bit of slapback echo on it, okay? And it's, uh, the way you're strumming it is kind of like this. Okay, really get down on those high strings at the end. solo is going to be a very bluesy, greasy kind of solo. Uh, in A minor, it's going to be an A minor box uh, pentatonic scale, box pattern number one, okay, which we're going to spell it out uh, with by numbers starting on the low E string at the fifth fret, which is the A, the root. It's going to be five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, eight, okay? 
It's also going to go up into the next bat pattern, box number two, which we're going to spell that out starting on the low E. It's going to be 8, 10, 7, 10, 7, 10, 7, 9, 8, 10, 8, 10. Let's do that one again. Okay. I should have a tab on another website soon. I'll post a link to that when I do. Uh, but I'm just going to show you how to play the solo at a couple tempos and basically um, leave you to kind of see something to look at it. And like I said, I'll get the tab up soon, okay? But remember, it's in that A minor box pattern number one. He does a lot of sliding. Okay? And there is a, a few bends. That lick is going to be five on the high E string, eight on the B string, and then seven, basically, slow bend up to eight on the D string. Okay, thanks. Anyway, that's basically how the song is laid out. I know that was kind of a really quick way to show it to you. But uh, with this, and if you'll kind of follow along the video on David Letterman, I think you'll start to understand how the song's laid out. And it helps, you know, it helps me to go by the lyrics sometimes too. So anyway, thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you got something out of it, and we'll see you back soon. Thank you.